In today's English lesson, you will learn 10 idioms about animals. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, you will learn 10 English idioms about animals. Number one is elephant in the room. This idiom refers to a problem or a controversy that is very big and difficult to ignore. But people try to ignore it anyway because it is embarrassing or it will cause conflict between people. A uh, sample sentence is, their completely different religious beliefs create a big elephant in the room. Number two is birds and the bees. This one I feel a little uncomfortable talking about in a video, but you should know what it means in case, like so you don't misunderstand someone if you hear them say it. It really has nothing to do with birds or bees. It's about reproduction and sex. A uh, sample sentence is, he kept asking about where babies come from. Somebody really needs to talk to him about the birds and the bees. Number three, let the cat out of the bag. This idiom means to say something that is supposed to be a secret or to say it too soon. A sample sentence is, don't tell anyone about the layoffs at his company. We don't want to let the cat out of the bag. Number four, like a fish out of water. This idiom refers to someone doing something that they don't have experience with or are not good at doing. <laughs> A lot of funny movies are fish out of water movies involving um, someone suddenly being in a situation that they aren't prepared for or aren't really suited for. Examples include Big, Beverly Hills Cop, Back to the Future, My Cousin Vinny, Blast from the Past, many, many others. Um, a sample sentence is, he felt like a fish out of water when he moved to the city after living in a small town. Number five wouldn't hurt a fly. This means that someone is very gentle and kind and wouldn't hurt anyone. He's really big and strong and looks menacing, but he wouldn't hurt a fly. Number six, kill two birds with one stone. This means to solve two problems by doing one thing. Um, for example, if we buy the stamps at the store where we do our other shopping, we can kill two birds with one stone. And the reason for this is because then you wouldn't need to make two trips in the car or go to two different places. You can just do everything you need to do at the same time and place. Number seven, don't count your chickens before they've hatched. This means you shouldn't assume you will get something you want until it actually happens. For example, I'm hoping that all the work I've done on my YouTube channel will result in me getting more subscribers. But I shouldn't count my chickens before they've hatched because maybe there is still a lot more work I'll need to do. Number eight, barking up the wrong tree. This idiom means to do or think the wrong thing about something or to choose the wrong way to do something. When dogs chase squirrels, and squirrels run up trees. Sometimes the dogs get confused about which tree the squirrel is in and bark next to the wrong tree. That's where this comes from. Like in this picture I made over here, where Hope is barking up one tree, but the squirrel is in the other tree. A sample sentence with this is, many people think the biggest problem with learning English is that they don't have enough people to practice speaking with but they're barking up the wrong tree. They should first focus on their listening skills. Number nine, black sheep. This one refers to a family member who is unliked or doesn't really fit in with the rest of their family. For example, he's the black sheep of his family. He knows it, but it doesn't seem to bother him very much. Number 10, let sleeping dogs lie. This one means not to cause trouble or problems if you can avoid it. For example, don't ask him why he left his job. Just let sleeping dogs lie. Now I've got a bonus one for you, number 11. 
curiosity killed the cat. If you are too nosy or curious, it may get you into trouble. So a sample sentence is, don't ask too many questions at work about all the people who got fired. Remember, curiosity killed the cat. Now it's time for a short quiz. Hopefully you don't have to look anything up and you can just remember these from hearing them. Number one, barking up the wrong blank. Number two, don't count your blank before they've hatched. Number three, curiosity killed the... And number four, like a blank out of water. That's all for today's lesson. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And remember, with hope, anything is possible. <laughs> number 10, <laughs> let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> the ears don't really show up though, do they? <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> Little rabbit ears. No, that doesn't work either. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't have an idiom about rabbits anyway. <laughs> oh, well, that's silly.